Hello, hello, how are you? I'm good, thanks. Good, what is your name? Caitlin Dube. Caitlin Dube. And what do you do? What sports do you play? Um, swimming, that I'm focusing right now at the moment, but I also play hockey. And what are you currently doing at the moment? I'm in the middle of a recovery session for SA schools tomorrow. Okay, so you've got some normal text for compression taking out all the toxins and giving some oxygen back to the muscles and flushing out all the hormones that you've generated from lots and lots of swimming. And tell me, how much swimming have you been doing in the last month? So, in February I swam Gauteng School Trials and I swam seven races and I got a medal or bronze for training with a breast and I qualified for the Gauteng School. So tomorrow I swam five races over three days for Khartoum School at SA School Champs. Then the week before that I did level three regionals and I swam 12 races over three days, so four races a day, and I qualified for nine out of the 12 finals. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> and the actual preparation and training, how has that been going? Has it been hectic? Um, yeah, I've been training two hours for about four or five days a week, um, but last week and the week before that, um, training went down to one and a half hours just in preparation and tapering for the big events, yeah. Cool. And tell me, so um, you've tapered a little bit, you've plateaued in your times, um, yeah. so you've been pushing hard, 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 and you weren't seeing much results, and you bit of frustration there. How did you break through those times? So I trained the whole of December last year and then I swam a gala late January, early February and I added to all of my times except one race where I like, took off splits. But since then I trained for the two hours and I did ASPN on Monday and I kept that up and just kept the same thing going. And then in February at Carlton School Trials, I dropped quite a lot of time, like huge amounts. And then the same thing happened regionals last week. And that's often, often the life of an athlete is that you work, 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 you feel like you're not getting there, but as long as your framework of success is right, you've got your technique swimming coach, you've got your actual coach to do your sessions, you've got your sports science coach, and now you've got a recovery coach and a recovery night, doing all these fancy things and all these fancy tools over here. So is this a, a good addition to, to your program? Yeah, yeah, it definitely is. And to see a smile on your face, that's good. Because you've been, you've been coming into our sessions a little bit tired. We have been focusing on mobility, opening up the hips, rolling out the muscles, getting those tight muscles loose, because range of motion is obviously important for performance. Um, and obviously, when you've done a lot of training, you know, these compression garments help push out all the lactic acid and stuff to help you recover better. Yeah. And that device on your head is called a neuro rhythm, um, and it's, it's basically the only ones in the country that imported and use it in our lounges and sell it in our online store for more better closer. And it helps for energy levels, it helps for pain management. Um, so it stimulates, it has magnetic resonance, it stimulates the now the, the front part of the brain. Uh, so what we're doing with her treatment now is just improving her energy levels before tomorrow, because tomorrow it's going to be an awesome, awesome tournament. Uh, so we're trying to just revive that. And when, during the week, if she's very fatigued uh, and we're doing a full blown recovery session, we'll probably do deep relaxation. Um, and yeah, so we wish you all the best of luck for tomorrow. Come back as, uh, with smiles on your face, and uh, we'll see you in the next ASP session. Thank you.